Well, happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Yes, I don't have my glasses on right now. I try to take some of the glare off of the of you happen to not be able to see my eyes, though I can't halfway see right now. But uh, uh, happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone. Uh, though this is Tuesday uh, evening and tomorrow is actually St. Patrick's Day, so it's an early greeting, but when you when you uh, see this video, it probably will be St. Patrick's Day. Um, St. Patrick's Day seems to be, in our modern society, a uh, time for people to party it up, drink green beer, and, uh, you know, just kind of... Uh, just uh, act heathenistic and uh, let the good times roll. Sad, since this holiday is named after one of the greatest Christian missionaries of all time, Patrick of Ireland. Actually, he wasn't Irish. Uh, uh, he went to Ireland to evangelize uh, the Irish uh, let me read you just a little bit of one of Patrick's letters, just a paragraph, to show you this fella. It reads, this is a letter to, uh, I believe, Caroticus. I may have pronounced that wrong. I, Patrick, a sinner, unlearned, resident in Ireland, declare myself to be a bishop. Most assuredly, I believe that what I am, I have received from God. And so I live among barbarians, a stranger in exile for the love of God. He is witness that this is so. Not that I wished my mouth to utter anything so hard and harsh, but I am forced by the zeal for God, and the truth of Christ has wrung it from me out of love for my neighbors and sons whom I gave up my country and parents in my life to the point of death. If I be worthy, I live for God to teach the heathen even though some may despise me. Uh, now, sounds similar to the Apostle Paul or many other great missionaries who throughout uh, the history of Christianity who gave up everything, gave up uh, the comforts of this world and taken up the cross to share the gospel. I'm sure that Patrick would be very displeased with the uh, with the with St. Patrick's Day being a day of drunkenness and and debauchery as it has become today, unfortunately. Uh, but we as Christians can remember uh, the great saint and learn from him in bearing our cross in that uh, it's, it's said that he baptized uh, thousands upon thousands of converts in Ireland. And even the you know some of the legends like he drove the snakes out of Ireland uh, probably has a basis in truth. Not that he literally drove the snakes out of Ireland, but it's probably a reference to the Druid religion that was predominant in Ireland when he came there with the gospel, and that through the preaching of the gospel that Christianity increased and the pagan religion of Druidism uh, decreased because so many converted to know Christ as Savior. So on this St. Patrick's Day, let's remember the great saint who took up his cross to follow Christ into Ireland to share the gospel and, uh, and, and let us imitate him and let us be a witness to our neighbors uh, on this St. Patrick's Day, not to be a day of, of uh, revelry and debauchery, 
but a day of examining ourselves and, and seeing our need to follow His example as He followed the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you all.